What's up, super fiends? It's Out of the Boat, and today we have some spoilers from Crimson Rampage, the second set to My Hero Academia CCG. These spoilers were provided by Jasco Games. Shout out to Jasco Games, thank you for allowing us and privileging us to hold some spoilers never before seen and first to be here on Iowa the Boat, this YouTube channel. So, as you can see, we have the character card. It is spoiler season. So we have Stain from the uh, anime, and he's just a very uh, prolific and important character. I'm not gonna spoil much, but as you can see, you know his his art is just sick. And we already seen the character card, and we'll go through it briefly. We have a six hand size, 29 health character, and our symbols are all evil and order which I think are very um, thematic symbols for Stain, but also some really cool ones that I just cannot wait to see what cards we can use to play with Stain. So seeing all three of those symbols, I'm very excited because in the all symbol, I would use a bunch of Jiro and Momo cards for weapon support. In the evil symbol, I would use some of Nomu's cards because they make evil characters more tanky and there's a lot of cool things that evil has equipped to them. But I think once we get more support from Crimson Rampage, that's when evil will start taking off. And then we also have the order symbol, which is one of the more cool control and damage symbols. I've seen a lot of damage from order over time, and it looks like, you know, there's going to be more damage cards in My Hero Academia CCG meta. So let's look at the enhances. Enhance. Your weapon attack gets plus one speed. If it deals damage, your rival loses one health. So... This enhance is really neat, and the reason why I like it is because free speed is just always good. It makes your opponent harder to block, and it also gives a you know a bad side to it. If it deals damage, your rival loses one health. So essentially, you're giving plus one plus one to all of your attacks. If if that's another way you want to think about it. So I really like that you have a free enhance just as long as you play weapons. And then we have a bottom ability, which is response commit. After your rival makes a check to play a card, that check gets minus three. Failing that check does not end the combat phase, only playable if your rival has taken damage of this game. So again, very thematic to Stain's quirk. I'll let you guys guess what it is if you haven't seen the anime. And after your rival makes a check, so this could be used um, pretty much at any point in the game, except for... I guess you could use it oh no you cannot use it on turn one because your opponent has not taken damage yet so because your, your opponent has to take damage for you to use this but pretty much after your opponent takes damage you can use this ability um, pretty much at any point your opponent plays a card and that means like a foundation they could be playing an attack they could be playing a block so if you're throwing an attack at them and they're trying to block you can response commit stain minus three to their check and if they don't have enough to pass it then they pretty much you know take the full damage from the attack and they fail their block so being able to hack a check during the block uh you know the block step pretty insane so let's get into the first spoiler and it is going to be a pretty wicked one sinister paralyzation this is a four difficulty ultra rare coming off with the ultra rare already and it is a weapon combo weapon it's a two check it's a three low for six and it is it is just insane so let's look into the enhances enhance if your rival has taken damage of this game seal one rival asset or foundation and it also has combo enhance if your rival checks a printed five or higher to block this attack they recheck so I'm going to explain the combo enhance because that one might be a little bit um, hard to catch for some of the newer players. And what this ability is saying, because we haven't really seen a whole lot of this ability, is if your opponent checks a 5, which is usually a foundation, so on the uh, printed control check on the bottom right hand corner, if they check a 5 or higher, they actually have to um, ignore that check and then recheck again. That's, that's essentially what this combo enhance is saying. So it increases the bad luck odds in your favor for for our whoever's playing Sinister Paralyzation. And I'm looking at this card 
and it reminds me a lot of it reminds me a lot of Binding Cough Clapture, which is um, one of the ultra rares for Aizawa, uh, aka Eraserhead. And the reason why it reminds me is because you have the seal ability, you have the ability that makes it harder to block, and then you also have a card that's a combo. But what I like about this is it's a uh, four difficulty, and it doesn't lock you into playing actions, it just um, has a theme where you're playing weapons. And also has an extra damage. And I also love that it's a low attack. I think that, you know, we have low attacks in our first base set, but as the game gets more and more attacks, having some solid low attacks is a really good way to have um, some deck builds out there where they just run like a bunch of low attacks and it's really hard to block. So I've always been a fan of that type of theme where you just have a bunch of low attacks because that is the, uh, the zone that the players have the least amount of blocks geared towards so most of the time you're going to get like half damage through or your opponent just cannot block and yeah this this attack is definitely very good i'm i'm a big fan of four difficulty attacks because they are pretty much almost the lowest difficulty you can do the lowest difficulty you can do is a three but a four is just kind of like in the middle so i generally like playing good cards that have a four difficulty because it means that i'm not having to um i'm putting myself in a less chance of overextending myself so i think that this is definitely a good ultra rare to be looking out for especially um you know you can even use this with binding cloth capture honestly on the all symbol and then that way you're sealing like two foundations if you play sinister paralyzation then you play the blinding cloth capture so there's there's a lot of cool things that come from this card alone and i can already see the deck builds coming out and yeah sealing two things and having high damage hitting attacks that are low attacks that's that's already a deck build right there all right let's check the next card challenging the fakes i love this art and i and i love the name i think it's uh very in line with um stain so this is a two five foundation it is a common and the block mod is a plus four but that's okay the ability is what you want it for so this is a taunt uh foundation taunt doesn't really mean anything it's just kind of like um you know some spicy text uh on there to to give it a keyword so it's a keyword on a foundation but it doesn't do anything it's just you know a, des a description so our enhance is enhance flip this attack gets minus one damage if it is not blocked your rival's next check to play an attack gets minus two failing that check does not end the combat phase so this ability is pretty neat i like that you have it under the evil symbol so you can use it with nomu you can also use it with super regeneration and what you're doing is you're reducing the amount of damage your opponent's doing but then also making it harder for them to play an attack later on the turn. So it's kind of like a free Breaker 2. Um, if you haven't played against Breaker 2 yet, uh, cards like Ice Storm, cards like uh, Naval Laser Beam, those cards make it harder for your opponent to play a card afterwards. And if they fail it, then their turn pretty much ends. This one doesn't end their turn, but the fact that you're making them commit more to, to play an attack is, is pretty much a turn ender. So it makes sense why it's a plus four um, block modifier, because this is a very strong foundation to have on your field. You're essentially making it um, harder for your opponent to kill you, and it, it could save your butt. It could, if you have this on board on like turn the, the early game, you can make it so much harder for your opponent to uh, keep attacking you, and it buys you time. So having one foundation that, that just buys you time is insane. And, and it's a common, so everyone's gonna have access to it. I'm gonna love seeing this in really good tanky characters because the tanky characters, they usually don't wanna block anyways. So if you just have this out and you make it harder for your opponent to attack you, it gives you more time to be offensive. So great card, I'm, I'm so glad we got to see this. And I have another spicy card and I'm not gonna say it's better than the, the last two because the last two have been really great but this is just awesome. So let's let's take a look. And it is Hero Killer. It is a 2-5 foundation, and this is a rare. And it is a rare for a good reason. So I love the block mod already. It's a plus three high, very relevant to the game. 
and you know here's the responsibility response remove after your rival builds or unflips a foundation remove it and i do want to say that this is at any time your opponent builds a foundation so if they are playing their foundation pool and they at the end phase they build their foundations to their stage you can snipe pretty much any one of those foundations and then remove it from the game so if there's a foundation for example it's already banned coordinated effort is banned but let's just say if you're playing against kirishima and they had coordinated effort and they were about to build it but you had hero killer you could remove hero killer uh, i mean you could remove coordinated effort from the game they wouldn't have access to it so it's just a really solid one for one but you get to selectively take away something of your opponents so i'm seeing this as a 4x or i mean it doesn't have to be a 4x but like this this card is just insane you know it's a really good card to either be in the sideboard or it can be a really good mainboard option too if you want to take away options from your opponent it really depends on what you're going for because you know at the end of the day uh my hero academia ccg is all about you being in control of your play style you being in control of your decisions and there's just so many options in this game so here's another one for all of us players out there and i just i just love that the next thing is deadlock first form which we don't have enough of i feel but as sets keep coming on we'll have more deadlock and this is you know great that we have this in this spoiler review so deadlock is an ability where if your opponent has 11 or more foundations you get to activate the ability this is to make it where games don't go on too long and you know both players once that reach that you know that requirement then they get to have abilities accessible to them to where they can end the game sooner so we have deadlock first form remove your weapon attack gain stun two for the rest of the combat phase wow so the combat phase just means like the whole turn so for the whole turn all of your weapon attacks will get stun two and first form you know we don't have a whole lot of form abilities but essentially what that means is at the beginning of your turn because it's a first and it's your form so this is before you play any foundations play any any card you have to play that ability and you play it in your stage you don't play it in the card pool you play it in your stage it has to be in your stage and you play it from your stage on hero killer remove the foundation and your weapon attacks gain stun you for the rest of the combat phase which is pretty insane that's essentially making it significantly harder for your opponent to block so just having one copy of this at a time that you need it is is just insane that's going to end the game right there and yeah these these spoilers were were great um i'm really excited for for stain i think he is a very solid character for you know everyone to play so again shout outs to jasco games and shout outs to all of you uh coming to watch this uh spoiler review let me know what you think in the comments you know what symbol that you might be really excited to play in for for stain because there is some really good support in evil and also order you know all is the obvious pick but let me know what you think in the comments about these spoilers and also who are you looking forward to for the next spoiler have a good one